Hey, how's it going YouTube? Back with another video, filming back to back with some more exciting stuff. So in this video, we have the Elgato green screen. Now, I'm sure you know green screen, but this is the one that's the collapsible green screen. So for those of you who utilize a room that is used as more than just your gaming setup. So like a bedroom, or if you have some kind of office and you need to keep it more professional looking, you can collapse this down, put it in the closet, whatever the case may be. But let's go ahead and get into the unboxing of it. And I will set it up and go through a little bit of OBS setup and we will try to do the best we can to show you everything dealing with the benefits of green screen. So I'm sure you guys know, I mean, if you're watching the video, you kind of already know green screen allows you to put cool effects around you and zero out your background, or you can do what some other people do. So if you have a green screen, you can take a photo of your room and you can use a webcam, maybe a webcam that's not quite as great as a DSLR. And you can take a photo of your background you can edit that photo to add a little bit of blur and you can make your actual webcam look like a DSLR the way it blurs out and will have you sharp and your background is blurred. So without further ado, we have now just the green screen right here. So let me go ahead and Try to slice and dice to get the green screen itself. Okay, that should allow me to just up. Oh, actually, even easier. Now let's slice and dice the tape off. I should. You gotta just slide the green screen uh, wrapping off and then I can show you guys. So if you look on the back, there's hinges right here, hinges right there. And then you have your model right there saying it's Elgato. And then if you look on the front, you have these clips, a little photo right there, and then you have these legs. So you're gonna wanna put the legs down and turn them just like so, or in, however you need to do it. But you wanna make sure that it has it nice and sturdy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off of the table. I'm gonna move the table out the way. Gonna pop this sucker on the ground and I'm gonna have it face you guys for now just so you can get an idea of the height on the screen screen. So the green screen, the height ratio I may have to move you guys back, definitely. Move the green, move this up. And I'm gonna stand next to the green screen and you guys will be able to tell that the green screen is taller than me. I will post a little bit of description and where to buy it in the link below. It's gonna be an affiliate account through Amazon. So when they're back in stock, you guys can go ahead and order it and I will get a little bit of commission from the order. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch the video over to OBS and we're gonna put the green screen behind and we're gonna chroma out the green screen effect where it's now just me in the gameplay and I'm gonna do it with Modern Warfare open so you can see over. Okay, and we're back. So let me go over a little bit of 
how to go ahead and set up your green screen. First, you want to make sure it's behind you. You need to potentially crop out if you have to. The green screen doesn't fill up. So I've already done that, but just in case you guys are curious on how to do that, I will show you. So I move this out and you hit the Alt button while holding Alt. You can move this out. So as you see, I move it out and some of my field of view uh, for my Brio webcam shows some of my couch there. I only want it to show the green screen. So I'm going to go there. Now there's some black shadowing, so I may need to get another light source to shine on the back of the green screen. And I do have some light coming in from the window that doesn't always help. Shadows and different things aren't the greatest, but it's what we're going to work with. So the next thing is going down here. This is my video capture device, my webcam. So you want to go into filters down here and we're going to add in a filter and that's going to be your chroma key. So can I hit it, hit OK and leave it green. You're good to go and default and close. Now you see I am green screened out. When I go to my main cam, which is going to be showing the game footage, you're going to see that. And then what I've also done here is I created this purple effect. So it's a green screen purple effect. So it's right here. I could turn it off. I could turn it on. And that may potentially be something to be possibly be used in the future. So the idea would be to have thank you for subscribing above or like donation above and then like a name right below that or something. And then that effect will pop up as a way of thanking your subscribers moving forward. I also have some videos down here, which are right there screened out and they are video green screened. So you want to do the same thing with those and I'll just edge that up just a little bit. And those are going to be my, Hey, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. So you get notified. And then these are going to be, and I'll try to get that a little better, but these are some of the products I'm using and I'll try to get more in there and make it look a little bit better in the future. Maybe, I don't know, do the white there, something there. I don't know. We'll see how things go, but that is a short and simple way of taking the Brio webcam that I have the green screen in the back and creating some cool effects with green screening and doing certain things just to spice up the look of your stream. It's cool. You can do whatever. I mean, like I said, you could take a background and you can go ahead and do what I did, which you can see the desktop and then you can talk and show people your desktop videos, whatever the case may be. You can do various features with it. It is really cool to have a green screen. You can take photos and do things with photos. Uh, the possibilities are endless. And the green screen back here is $150 new when they're in stock. If you're paying more now, I mean, yes, it sucks, but uh, we all have to deal with it and they're not been in stock for a while, but they should be in stock again soon from my understanding. So when they're in stock, you'll be able to grab one. I'm going to have the link down below and don't forget, check out the merchandise. There's this, there is the logo shirt of don't hassle the Hoff. And I will start creating more shirts. I'm thinking more melted keyboard design type stuff. So the melting effect on other stuff like graphics cards, whatever the case may be, so just let me know what you guys think and let's keep on growing to 3000 to 50,000 and beyond subscribers. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.